located in Chisholm, Minnesota, Minnesota Twist Drill has been a manufacturer of quality twist drills for over 40 years. Minnesota Twist Drill has 80 plus employees that work three shifts five days a week. Manufacturing is done using the cell concept. Minnesota Twist Drill has 18 cells with a maximum capacity per cell per day average of 10,000 drills. Plan size is 66,000 square feet. Join us as we take you through the process of creating a drill bit, all the way from raw materials to delivering the product to our customers. First, we receive the raw material. Our soft coiled steel arrives in various grades and in multiple sizes. Hardened steel blanks are supplemental to coil. Cutoff. Cutoff is where raw material is straightened and cut to length. The Big Lewis machine cuts one quarter inch to one half inch diameter material. Coning. One end of the bit is coned, making it identifiable for heat treating and easier to point later in the process. Blanks larger than 0.177 thousandths of an inch diameter are clamped. Blanks smaller than 0.177 thousandths of an inch diameter are basketed. Times and temps vary depending on the material grade when run through heat treat. The heat treat bath. The heat treat bath is barium salt. Bits are dipped in multiple baths for different periods of time to harden the steel. Roto. After being heat treated, bits are put into the vibrating roto machine to clean off salt and debris. The draw furnace. Once cleaned in the roto, bits are then put into the draw furnace for tempering, which makes them less brittle. After being run through the draw furnace, the bits are then sent to ending. Centerless. This operation grinds the bit to the final diameter, back tapers, and creates the roundness. Fluters. This is the slowest of the cell operations. The flutes are ground one at a time, grinding away large amounts of steel. Clearing. This operation grinds the clearance to eliminate rubbing on whole sides during the drilling process. Pointing. This process finishes the point, creates the lip relief, chisel, angle, and centrality. A general purpose point is complete at this step. Split pointing. This process creates secondary cutting edges. Split drills won't move or walk when starting a hole. Reducing and flatting. The reducing process reduces the size of the bit shank in order to fit all drill chucks. Flatting is done to help keep the drill bit from slipping in the drill chuck. Here's a reduced example. Here's a flatted example. Bulk to individual orders. Bulk runs are separated into individual order quantities as indicated by the work order. Work orders are then staged in locations until sent to the laser and mechanical machines for identification marking. Drill bits to finish goods. The completed drill bits with work order information are then sent to finish goods for packaging. Bulk orders packaged. The bulk orders are packaged, palleted, and shipped to the customer. Generating Triumph customer orders. Drill bits arrive from Minnesota Twist Drill on the Triumph truck in large containers. Generating Triumph customer orders. Drills are moved to the staging area where they are separated into work orders and set stock. Generating Triumph customer orders. In packaging, each work order is cleaned, ended, packaged in tubes or boxes according to size and package quantity. Tubes are then labeled, banded in groups and moved to the completed shelf. A work order is created for the number of sets needed to be built. The indexes are lined up and ready to fill. The set builders fill the correct size in the proper slot of the index, then sleeve and sticker. They are then moved to the complete cart and housed on the shelf.